Come on. Every single machine is busted. What the hell? This is conspiracy. It's a soda conspiracy. I wonder if we try, if we find every single machine in the game and try to use them all, by the end of it, they'll just be like a giant bonus soda. <laughs> bonus soda. B -b 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 oh. Just married. Yeah, it's storming. Why they leave their shoes outside? They couldn't like get in fast enough. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what's this? Hey, honey, no shoes and on so the carpet. So one day, magnetic flying will purify the pagan city with the eternal fire. Ha! What? Head of the head of the cult. Whoa! Whoa! What? So did it set on fire? That is the head of the cult. You're right. Anytime someone says the word pagan, pagan fire. In. They're the cult. Not saying that somebody <coughs> who's pagan is actually in charge of a cult, but in the context of gaming, if No, in real life. In real life, if someone says that in real life, they're the head of a cult. Possible. A sex cult. So you better become friends with them because it's gonna be a fun time. A sex toy cult? Sex toy cult. Consensual sex cult, Whoa. by the way. The magic doesn't work unless it's consensual. Whoa, this is this is awesome. Wow. This is great looking. This is amazing. I I've I'm fighting the urge to be like, guys, do you see this? This is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Uh oh. What happened here? Nothing to worry about, my good man. What happens on the Hindenburg stays on the Hindenburg. Okay. What? <laughs> Don't you uh, worry about this blood stain. What happens here stays here. Murder whoever you want. Yeah. What do you want to say? Uh, uh. We don't technically have to say anything, but maybe. Ethics? Yeah. How can you work in a place like this? <laughs> you don't want to know where I worked before this, my good man. Are you saying the law doesn't apply here? We're too high up, my good man. The law has always preferred to look down. I mean, that's a good point, yeah. <laughs> you never had problems with the police? Oh, many a one, my good man. In fact, what I'm cleaning up is today's first problem. Whoa. Oh, maybe the police got shitty with somebody. And they got killed. Yeah. So, good to know that we can still have corrupt cops. Despite no. What happened was, the cops came and they weren't corrupt, and they got killed. Oh, you think so? Yeah, that's what I think happened. Japanese garden. That it's a red tree. Oh. Like a. I, I don't know. I, oh. There must be some significance. Oh. Uh. Is this. What are we doing? I don't like this. I guess this is, uh. Fun for people? Like a circus thing? His infinity knives. She seems pretty chill. Did yeah. they give her drugs or something? Bravo. <gasps> what? Oh. We're all clapping. No, no, no. I think she, uh... No, she got hit. What? I'm sorry. Dude, they all clapped because she got hit. Really? I think these people might be hedonists. Oh, I see. Maybe that's what the H's are for? Hedonism? Hindenburg, hedonism, same thing.
hear those whispers? I didn't hear what they said, but I heard the whispers. I think they might be backmasking. Back masking. There's always backmasking of games that we play. You will always find it. If it wasn't it. for my habit of checking all possible exits when I walk into the lion's den, I'd be a dead man. Oh, an ele- like, is that a stairwell elevator? Hey guy, what's hey. up? You should be running in jail. That's exactly what I've been doing for the last 19 and a half years. You'll be surprised what a little good behavior can do for a person. Yeah, not gonna ask me for my last words this time. I'm a lot closer to death than when I last saw you. <laughs> As are you. Purpose. Why did you ask me here? Why did you come? Curiosity. Yeah. I wanted to see if you'd improved with age. I'm glad to see the answer's no. <laughs> when you said rot in jail, you really meant it, huh? Look, uh, I didn't ask you here to find out who's got the snappiest comebacks. I want to hire you. What? I require your services as a detective. Irony. Yeah. You're so old, I don't know if you're senile or if you're joking. Look, Ness. My granddaughter Sophia has been kidnapped. When what happened to my son, Vittorio, I, uh, I put her in a boarding school. She was entered under a false surname, Colombo. Nobody knows who she is. Nobody? Well, eh, only Milton. The man who brought you here. I trust him completely. Two days ago, a guy turned up at the boarding school. He introduced himself as Guido Colombo, the girl's uncle, and her new legal guardian. He said her parents had just died in a tragic automobile accident. He produced all the relevant papers, driver's license, the custody document supposedly made out by the father, the death certificates. He, uh, explained away the fact that the girl didn't know him by saying he moved to Seattle before she was born. Any clues? Nah. Well, Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I personally ordered for her from Italy. Uh, she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them. Is that the girl from the beginning? I'm As for the guy, it's very possible. the school principal said he was tall and slim uh, in his 50s. No particular accent. You mean like this Black Hindenburg hair, guy? No beard, no glasses. <laughs> Sorry. Well dressed. Could no be beard. Anyone. Yeah. But I know he was hired by one of my old associates. Someone wants to finish me once and for all. Maybe they want control of what's left of my organization. Maybe they hate my guts. And I thought I was the only one who still hated you after 20 years. What else have you got? I got this. And I got you. Well, okay. What? You don't have me. My place is at my diner. And your girl's not there. Huh. So where should I be looking? Mafia? I mean, those are your guys. I'm just saying. Yeah. You were the biggest boss in the Mafia. And by the looks of this place, you didn't lose everything. Why don't you ask one of your subordinates for help? You don't listen, do you? The kidnapper was hired by one of my men. One of the people I trust. So why me? Twenty years ago, I pushed you to the edge. I bought your friends and killed the ones who couldn't be bought. I got you so obsessed with me that your wife ended up leaving you. When you had nothing left, you walked into my house, shot my bodyguards and pointed a gun at me. You could have killed me. But you chose to restrain yourself. You even gave my son a lecture on ethics. You're the only honest man I know. No, we're just two feminists disguised as one. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> you come in here, you give my son a lecture about ethics? What the fuck? It's like you're like a woman, but you're a man, so I can respect you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're kidding. We're kidding. All right, for her. I'll do it. Not for you. For her. I knew I got the right guy. 
but I want something in return. As you can see, I'm not short of money. Ask. I won't haggle. We don't want, uh, donation. Yeah. You give your entire fortune to the Santa Esperanza Hospice. That won't be difficult. I've been donating to them for decades. And I don't need the money anymore. I don't give a damn what happens to me, Ness. You just save Sophia. And you can start by investigating Carlo Baccarini. How did you know? Biggest forger in Santa Esperanza. Wouldn't surprise me if Sophia's so-called uncle's papers were made by him. Besides, he's been cursing your name ever since we put you in jail. Hey, I treated him like a son. After you killed his parents. They were selling booze without my permission. Wait, you know where to find them? I have a good contact at the station. A girl. Rookie. Straight arrow. Reliable. Yeah. A girl? You were saying you trust her? You are such a chauvinist. Do you trust me? Deal? Don't ruin this, like, sexist free world that we've created in our heads about this game. I know, right? <laughs> we've created this entire image. That it's post-racial, post-sexism, there never was a race problem, so everything's fine except for, you know, children being kidnapped. There is no eat. cultural appropriation because everybody shares and respects each other. There was never any oppression, so it's fine. Don't ruin this illusion for ourselves, please. That's a spirit. Keep Milton informed at all times, huh? You hear me? I know you from somewhere. Usually I don't fall for like hot older dudes, but that guy's like slamming it. Yeah. He's like really... Yo, you're not gonna ask me for my last words? You should be right. I'm never going to help you. Why me? I'm not asking you to help me. I'm not a cop. I'll do it. Not for you, for her. So I can't move the camera at all in different cutscenes. This town has become a jungle. Whoa, this is cool. Are safe. Ooh, this is neat. Those who support and protect us fight to steal the last scraps of dignity we have left. And those who should judge them prefer to squabble over their prey. Man. Is such a risky choice. I'm gonna need help. If you don't like putting up with bullshit. But now we don't have to juice. 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 That's not even a hard decision. I no. mean, if he's trying to stay sober. It's, yeah, if you don't want to, like, deal with, like, if you want to see the cool stuff, but, like, you don't want to deal with any of the crap. Now we don't have to. Answer. Be social and drink juice. Yeah. Ness. Elliot, I found Carlo Baccarini. I knew you would, Alice. Write this down. 31 Wicker Avenue in Lakeview. Thanks. 
Nice work. Elliot, what do you want with him? He's got a hell of a file. Man, I keep thinking she's uh, about to say something sexy. Um, let's secret? Yeah, be honest about it being needing to be a secret. Yeah. Right now, it's better you don't know, Alice. What? Are you protecting me? I promised your father that I would. Aww. I'm a cop, not a little girl. Alice, I don't have much time. I'll let you know how it goes. It's weird Thanks. now. It's weird now. We can't... It, it's not gonna happen because it's weird now. Yeah, we promised her father we'd take care <sighs> of her that doesn't mean sleeping you. with her. Sorry. No matter how much you want it to happen, Did you just see him drink that juice? What? He's like, oh, it's been a long day. Better drink my juice. Nom, nom, nom. It's probably like vegetable juice or something. He's got to get vitamins. He just drank it as if it was whiskey. 31 wicker. Yeah, but he's getting like Listen. ripped up on vitamins. You sure? <laughs> I'm sure. At last. That stench of stale grease about you reminds me too much of my old job. I smell of grease. Uh, I don't think anyone else would notice. But when you spend a part of your sentence as a chef in the kitchens on Gore Island, you smell it a mile away. And how do you think I met Alphonse? Playing golf? Alphonse? Alphonse? On the subject of cooking, I know your blueberry pie had an extra something. I still don't know what. Alphonse? So what now? You got a plan? I love her. Take know, a look around like... in case there's a rear exit. I'll take the main door. My pleasure. I trust him more than anyone. Alphonse. They're in love. I think like I think we could end up being like a cute little twosome here, like little like. Hey man. Hey man. Like let's be partners in crime. Whoop whoop. I definitely think that Alphonse and our part new partner here, they're definitely in love. The fact that a criminal like him can hang up his shingle in broad daylight says a lot about Santa Esperanza. I bet that's gonna end up being true and we're gonna be like, what? And we'll be like, wait, it's post-homophobia, what? <laughs> What is this utopian land where evil guys just want you to save their children and... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused! The only thing bad about this is children are being kidnapped and murdered and eaten. I mean, like, trade off I guess that's okay. I guess that's okay. Interesting taste. Been centuries since a gardener visited this house. Maybe Baccarini's business isn't going too well. Got boards on the windows. Gentle. Gentle. Don't be Baccarini? Rude. Carlo Baccarini? Nothing of interest out back. Sorry. You better come see this, Mr. Ness. Oh no. What is it? Is he dead? I don't know how to describe it. I'm sure you've seen dead people before. Whoa. Uh, Never mind. Ne Never mind. Whatever that was. It's like goofy, but at the same time, you find these terrible, horrible things. Oh. Whoa. Is that a man? Oh my god. Baccarini. My god. We have to find out who did this and why. Let's go. You're the detective, Mr. Ness. Besides, Alphonse will want to see this. I'll be right back. All right. Yikes. I have to establish how Baccarini died. Maybe the body parts can shed some light on the motive. Uh, uh, okay. 